Hey guys, thank you for joining me for my first real YouTube video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I blow dry my extremely long 44 inches of hair. Yes, I measured just for the sake of this video. And how I go from this to this. Cue slow-mo bun unraveling. I swear I have always wanted to film one of these. So I'm gonna be using this Revlon blow dryer. I get it at Target for like 20 bucks and I love it. I've had like three of these now. Not because they break, because I managed to ruin them. One of them I took to Europe and the voltage fried the motor and the other one I used when I was renovating my house and I covered it in silver paint. So this is number three and the one in the box is actually a Christmas gift for my sister. So I highly recommend it and I will link it down below. So as you can see, my hair is damp, but not soaking wet. I washed it the night before and slept with it in a bun. So I just ran some water through it in the morning just to make sure none of the sections were dry. So I split my hair down the middle and brushed it out just to make sure there were no knots. And then I split my hair into smaller sections starting at the back to start blow drying it. Now my hair is pretty fine and it's naturally wavy, so my sections don't have to be too small. But if you have thicker hair or curly hair, you might want to do smaller sections just to make sure you get it all dry. The first few passes are nothing too precise just to get it mostly dry. I do use the highest setting, but as you can see, it's not too hot that I can't put my hand on it while I'm drying it. So once it is pretty much completely dry, I do go in and split it into thinner sections to make sure that it's dry at the roots. This is when I take my time and really go through it to make sure that I'm getting it completely straight. Now because the blow dryer doesn't get too hot, I can go in and brush right up against my scalp. I do this along the back just because it's kind of difficult to make sure you get the back sections when you're doing this by yourself. Now I have zero products in my hair right now. I don't use a heat protectant. I don't like the feelings of products in my hair. Maybe because my hair is so fine, I feel like anything I put in my hair just weighs it down and makes it feel kind of greasy. Plus, I really only put heat to my hair maybe three to five times a year. So I don't really think it's necessary for me personally.
Now I'm just gonna work around my entire head doing my hair in small sections. And I'm gonna speed through this because no one needs to see this in real time. Now once I get to the very top section of my hair, I like to blow dry it in the opposite direction that I plan on wearing it. I always slip my hair to the right, so I dry it to the left to give myself a little bit of lift and volume. And this is the finished product. And one more slow-mo bun unraveling because my cat jumped up on the chair and she is the light of my life. Don't tell the others. Just kidding. But anyways, thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking through the shoddy editing. Please bear with me. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm doing everything on an iPhone 8. I will hopefully have some more contents up. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing, but thank you so much for joining me for this one. I hope to see you next time. Bye.